So there's a lot that we're talking about here in our exhibits, but I think one of the most important things when you talk about uh, the Great Lakes and especially the Maumee is the cargoes and the number of cargoes we have coming in and out of here. Um, I know that your family was intimately involved in that. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? It would have been grain. Uh, my grandpa, Harold Anderson, started the Andersons, and he always knew that once the St. Lawrence Seaway was dredged and they could get big cargo ships here to the Port of Toledo, they could load grain from the Toledo port. So not only is the farmer able to drop his grain off in the Maumee facility, they can bring it down here, load it on the ship, take it out to sea, international trade. Send it around the mm -hmm. world. Yeah, you've got so much in this exhibit, cargo and, and shipbuilding, I didn't even know. Tell me, tell me something about that. Oh yeah, there were ships that you know took your family's grain up and down the river um, out into the lakes. Some of them were probably built right here in Toledo as well. The American Shipbuilding Company and the Toledo Shipyard, since its inception in the late 1800s, built well over 200 vessels, including pieces parts for the thousand footers that are still sailing today. That being said, shipbuilding on the Maumee was active even in the early 1800s when they were just building small sail vessels, small wooden vessels. Um, so the number of vessels that came out of this area is probably 500, 600, maybe even 1,000 that we built in this area. Wow.